Okay, I was looking for a way to add some color to our bedroom. I bought some fabric that would be a nice little accent color. I was gonna use a Mark Montano hack that I saw where he used a, an outdoor rug, area rug thing that was like ugly and you could use material and actually glue it to. Um, and so I thought, I'm gonna do that. I have an ugly one. Um, I ended up not doing that because I bought a new one. <laughs> I don't usually do that. I have these like three yards of fabric and have a way to do two different kind of decors. I did a faux throw for the foot of our bed and a wall decor out of that same material, piece of material. And I can't wait to show you. Then I spread Mod Podge all over the poster board very thickly and spread the fabric over it. And then I spread the Mod Podge on the top surface of the material, um, working it really good into the fabric, let that dry. And then I spread another coat of Mod Podge on the top of the fabric uh, and let that dry. The Mod Podge on here, so it's stiff. And I'm gonna use Dark and Decrepit. I'm just gonna brush it on and kind of wipe it right off. Oh yeah, okay, now that looks good. Yes, it's gonna make it look a little aged. However, you do not have to do this step and make it look aged. I very much wanted that for my bedroom, but um, you can skip this step. So after I got it covered, I went back and added more where I wanted it to be a little heavier. So I have my curio cabinet door there with glass in it. And I just took my material, which is glued to the poster board, and, and cut it down to the size that I needed it to be. And then I glued it, just glued it in there. You could use this over um, any empty frame that you can get at you know, Goodwill or Habitat for Humanity Restore. You could put it over an old mirror that has a frame that you really like with it. Um, you could put it over a canvas and glue it to that instead. So what I'm doing now is trying to be patient and holding this down. Gluing down the edges here where they're kind of coming up a little bit. I used my E6000, but not patient. This doesn't dry quite fast enough for me. I will be going to get the super glue because this is already too many minutes out of my life. Glue it down, but I think you could use any strong glue. And now I am darkening the edges of it, of the material, with my darkened decrepit liquid container. And now I'm gonna paint that frame white so I can distress it a little bit and have that brown show through just a tiny bit using, <laughs> you can't see the color. It's DIY paint. This is beadboard by DIY paint. My, um, this is my little Frenchie by Paint Pixie. So you could almost dry brush this on, I think. But Here is the finished product on our bedroom wall. You can tell that I ended up putting more of that dark and decrepit on top of the white paint because I just needed it to look a little dingier. It was just too bright. It didn't go well with the dingy of the fabric, I thought. I used um, a sort of a hack that I saw Mark Montano use, <laughs> only it was for like an outdoor carpet like a throw carpet thing and I cut it and I glued it. So the other thing I wanted to do with this material was to make a throw for our bedroom um, using a throw that I already had that I was just going to donate which means it's a faux throw if you will. <laughs> to the size of the throw except for I didn't have enough material left so I actually cut the throw down a little bit. I mean why not? Okay so after I cut my fabric to the size of the blanket <laughs> and I'm just using this to uh, glue the lip of it the edge over onto this I'm holding it down until it dries so I realized I did not have footage of how I glued exactly how I glued the fabric onto the old throw so this is gonna have to do. So say this is my new fabric. 
Um, and this is the old blanket. Okay, so here's the old throw. Um, so I have it upside down like this. Here's the fabric, here's the thing. And I fold it over one edge. So I had it like this and I just started it like that. Just so you have a starting point. So, so you're gonna glue that. But then you have to flip it over because you wanna be able to glue it over the whole surface of the top of the, the throw, your old recycled throw, and put the material over the top. So I glued that and then I flipped it over and then held back the material and then kind of squirted the glue all over like that and slid this down. You know, smoothed it down like that. And then once that was done and dry, then I flipped it back over and then finished with the other edges. Does that make sense? The finished product of my DIY with the blanket now, full disclosure, <laughs> we just leave it here. So who cares? So what? Who cares? As always, thank you for spending your precious time watching a She Paints video. If you liked it, then please subscribe for here or somewhere. If you didn't like it, then keep watching because I've got about a bajillion more DIYs to share with you guys. Thanks. I, I, I do what I do, okay? I do what I do. It's a challenge. Not sure, let's scrape some away and see. Yep.